All right, it's time to write some delete methods. Uh, so here we're going to define assignment delete take self and it's going to take an assignment that would that would like to delete. All right, um, and it would be something as simply um, as simple as just just deleting assignment. So um, assignment dot remember we delete by key. So something like that, assignment.key.delete. Uh, and then we still need to return an assignment. Uh, and we can return a new sort of dummy assignment uh, where we have the name uh, equals deleted. Okay, So that's, that's a basic thing. Um, it's actually a little bit harder than that, although not much. Uh, because what we want to do, get these guys here. Uh, is when we ever we delete an assignment, remember that an assignment has a whole bunch of grade entries with it. So those grade entries, why should they hang around, right? If, if the assignment is gone, if lab two goes away, then if I had started to enter in grades for lab two, um, those should go away as well. Uh, so let's, let's just capture that. So delete um, the assignment uh, with the given uh, key. So plus all its associated grade entries. Okay, um, so there's a little bit more. Uh, let's take care of that in a second, um, but let's go ahead and do our, our annotations here. So uh, this is an assignment, uh, an assignment regular method, okay? And we're gonna have some, let's see, some request fields, response fields, user required. Oh, we certainly want user required. So let's go ahead and do that. So user required is gonna be true, okay. uh, just like that. And then uh, remember for request fields, let's go ahead and put this guy in here. Um, this is a tuple, and we're we're letting them delete by entity key, right? And in fact, that's a tuple with one thing in it. So I know that seems like weird syntax to you, um, but we have one item with a comma after it, um, so that that it keeps it as a tuple. All right? So that's a, that's those guys. And let's add in the sort of sort of big three that we usually have. So we're going to have assignment uh, dot delete uh, dot delete for the name and path equals. Oops. Uh, say I lost myself here. Uh, path is going to be um, so assignment forward slash delete. Since we're requiring the entity key, we'll do a forward slash and then in curly braces, entity key All right, for that guy. And then HTTP method is going to be delete. All right, like so. All right, uh, delete the assignment with the given key plus all its associated grade entries. All right, so delete it with the given key, check, we've done that. But we need the, the, the grade entries as well. So to delete all the grade entries uh, that belong to this assignment, what we're going to do is we're going to make a grade entry query, right? And we want to, to get uh, the list of all those. So ancestor, let's see, let's spell it right here, um, equals uh, the assignment. Um, let's see, so it's going to be the, the assignments um, key. Uh, and this guy is going to re going to uh, return basically all the children of um, of this assignment, right? So we call it assignment. We could call it you know grade entries for this assignment. Uh, you know, get a little bit wordy there, uh, but this gives us a list of, of all the um, of all the grade entries here. So we just need to loop through um, through each one, right? So for each uh, grade entry uh, in this list of children, okay. So this is my for loop. And then I want to take that grade entry, and then by key, I want to delete it as well from the data store. So something like that. Okay. Uh, all right, decent. And then the only other thing is is usually if, if the entity key um, doesn't correspond to something in the data store, we usually just raise an exception. Right. Uh, so let's go ahead and check that. So if the assignment, okay, um, uh, from the data store. So again, if the, if the assignment is not from the data store, then we're going to raise 
and endpoints dot not found exception and saying something like no uh, no assignment with this uh, you know with this ID or something like that uh, exists. Um, let's see. I'm not sure why this guy's complaining. Uh, yeah, uh, semicolon at the end here. There we go, or a colon, I should say. Uh, good, so that looks like deletion uh, for assignments. Uh, and again, we just had a little bit little bit more than we've done in the past. Everything else here is is basically, you know, just, just exactly what we did back in movie quotes. Um, but the new thing we had to do was go ahead and, and grab all of the related uh, grid entries um, that went with an assignment. And, and those ones were ones uh, whose ancestor, whose parent, um, was the, this assignment's key. Okay. Uh, so, grid entry delete is going to be easier than, okay, so let's, let's uh, go ahead and do this. So grade, uh, grade entry method, user required true, request fields, yes, we're gonna delete individual grade entries uh, by entity key. Name is gonna be grade entry, smush together as one word, uh, dot delete path, will be grade entry delete by entity key. HTTP method doesn't change. Uh, the name of the method is grade entry delete. And we're gonna pass in a grade entry. All right, we wanna say delete the grade entry with the given key. Uh, that's it, okay. Um, so if this uh, grade underscore entry uh, is not in the data store, then we'll say no grade entry with this key exists. Uh, so grade entries have no children. So there's, eh, delete that right there. Uh, and then we're gonna say um, this individual grade uh, entry, we're gonna delete its key. And then finally, we have to return some grade entry. So let's see, let's go ahead and do this. So grade entry and Generally, we picked sort of the most prominent string that was in here uh, and set it to deleted. Now, grade entries actually have no string. They have an integer. Um, so we could, uh, I guess we have a couple choices here. I don't want to make up a dummy key or anything like that. Uh, I could leave it blank, um, and that's that's probably fine to do. Um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play around with, with this. I could actually give it a, a, a score that's sort of like some sort of a, a flag. Again, just if, if the client wanted to return something and check it, they, um, they could do so. All right. uh, good. And that is deletion. All right. Let's go and test it out. Now I have assignment delete. So let's go ahead here. And I need to delete by entity key. So let's, let's see. It was, it was homework one that had two great entries here. So I wanna to go to homework one and get his entity key. Uh, we could do an assignment list, uh, reauthenticate here. And let's see, so homework one has an entity key as follows. So go ahead and grab that guy. Um, yeah, I could see very easily where I might've made a, a, a mistake where I just grabbed you know part of it without the whole thing, so. Uh, all right, so let's see. Let's we want to do an assignment delete by that entity key. I appear to be authorized. Execute it, and okay. So assignment deleted, and it's coming back with the name of deleted, which is what I wanted. So I'm going to go back to my web app on this guy, and we'll notice that now homework one is gone from the list, and all the great entries with homework one are also gone. Uh, second thing I want to do is is to delete just uh, Joe Smith's grade entry here. So I don't want to delete homework two, but just Joe's grade of 100. Uh, so let's go back here into our data store viewer, and that is going to be a um, that is going to be a grade entry. So let's go ahead and list these guys, and uh, the key for this, the entity key for this guy, is like so. So we'll copy that guy. And then we'll make a request for grade entry delete that entity key, execute it, deleting it, and it comes back and it returns one with a score of negative one. Uh, looks decent. Um, and let's go back here and refresh this guy. And again, what I want to see is this go away, but homework two to stay. 
and that's exactly what I see. All right. Uh, so it seems to be working just fine, right? So uh, looks very good. The only thing we have left to do is uh, to do uh, to deploy and to test uh, for the world, real world. Okay. So see you next time.